Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. You can find the link to download the zip file in the description below. You will find two folders. In start folder, you will find all files you need to follow this tutorial. In the end folder, you will find the final Dynamo script and all related files. Once you have downloaded the folder, go to start folder. I have already opened this sample project and the Dynamo file which is initially empty. So let's jump to the Revit. So in this model I have a two double story building. Let me show you. The goal of this Dynamo tutorial is to set the location of these Lumiere's to ceiling bottom surface so for this tutorial i will use raybos technique in my previous dynamo tutorial number three we use the same technique to place automatically electrical fixtures so let me show you briefly the algorithm we are going to build inside dynamo Let's just focus on this MEP fixture. We are going to trace in this direction and another one in opposite direction. So for this particular element, the method will return this point, this ceiling element and this floor element and its location location point so now we are inside the dynamo make sure you have set in manual mode now look for select model elements we are just going to select manually these MEP fixtures So now look for get location. Now look for ray bones. So we are going to use this node that which is provided by data shapes package. Make sure you have installed this package. So you can go to packages, search for package and install it. So look for ray bones on link category connect points now look for a python the 3d view we are going to create using revit api i will provide you the python code go to the folder start folder and just open the create 3d view python file copy all go back to dynamo double click select all and paste it inside save it close it now connect to 3d view yeah. so now we are only interested in ceiling elements and floor element so we have to provide category name look for a code block so our Revit 3D model have no links so we are going to let this input as false so the remaining input is direction so let's just hit run now this node is returning a function okay so now we what we can do is use you can use list map list dot map we are interested in elements okay connect here 
we are going to trace array in Z axis and the opposite is reverse look for reverse now connect here build a list connect here so what we are doing is we have built this function and we want to apply this function for these two directions hit run so this method is working now just transpose the data hit run so as you can see for each point we are finding two elements so as this was what we were expecting because if if you analyze this Revit model if you trace away from this location in that direction and opposite direction minimum you will find two elements that can be floor 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 ceiling okay go back to dynamo <laughs> so now we are going to filter ceilings only so for this purpose we can use string from object just hit run is ceiling not ceilings okay hit run again perfect so as you can see for for our first lighting fixture the location so for for, for the first item are okay we have filter our ceilings If the list is empty, we are not interested to move the location of that MEP fixture. So we can use is empty. Not here. Make sure this is set to level two. So look for. bull mask again enter by bull mask connect here So in these two lists, we, you can see if this down light, we will attach to this ceiling. Okay. You can remove this node. So 
So now look for get location. And look for bottom surface. And make sure you have installed the rhythm package. Hit run. So we have extracted the bottom surface of ceiling. Apply flatten. Now we have to extract the elevation of each surface. So we can use point at parameter. By default, the U and V value is zero. So hit run. We are going to extract the Z value. Now we are going to extract the X and Y value of MEP fixtures, so look for point X, point Y, now we are going to create point using these three values, we are maintaining the X and Y value of current MEP location, we are just changing the Z value and we as we want to set the same location as ceiling so we can use point Z value of surface of bottom surface of the ceiling just look for point by coordinates create point connect here hit run so now we are good to go to set location look for set location Connect here and look for filter MEP fixtures. Connect here. Minimize this. Run. MEP fixtures is set to the location that we were looking for.